Hi, everybody. It's Bonkai922. What was today? Oh, yeah, today was Super Bowl Sunday. And, by the way, Patriots lost. Yeah! Fucking Tom Brady, motherfucker. I was just... Before I go into this video, this is a review for High School DXD Episode 5. Um, I just saw it. Super Comedy Guru 9000. Corey, you hate Tom Brady, too? <laughs> Good on you, man. Good on you, man. Because I'm a Jet fan. Yeah. But, moving on. Um, yeah, this is the review for High School DXD Episode 5. Um... Before I get into more details with this, I want to mention two things. Number one, the guy who gave me a comment, this guy, um, Phoenix, saying, oh, it was a kick-ass episode. Thanks nice for the comment, man. Yeah, I got the idea of what you were saying about Issei, about what he is. I finally understood it from watching this episode. That's number one. And number two, to the people who are asking me, one person asked me like twice, with two comments separately, on what episode of One Piece I'm up to. Okay. Before I go into this review, I'll tell you. Right now, I'm up to episode 400. Uh, I'm trying to think now. I want to say 92, but it's actually 93, because 492 is the crossover. Of Toriko in uh, One Piece. So, I probably will skip it for now, but later on I'll watch it. So, I'm up to 493. I should be able to get through to the 500s, late 500s, New World, by the end, by the end of Tuesday. We'll see. We'll see. Okay, let's get into this episode of High School DxD, episode 5. To kill my ex-girlfriend. <laughs> okay, so basically Issei, Kiba, Konako, um, they're in this dungeon, and Yuma, she has another name, I, I forgot the other name. She's already taken ISA, I say ISA? No, I say Ashia, sacred gear, and her flight is fading fast. So, eh, small talk between Ise and Yuma. And while this is going on, we have this fight brewing with, you know, Ryas, Akino, and the other, th and the three fallen angels that they're fighting. And, you know, Ryas, she's hinting to that, that the fact that Ise is more, even though he's a pawn. The Fallen Angels are referring to the fact that he's a throwaway pawn, and she's not referring to that. He di she's referring to the fact that he's different in some way. So, <clears throat> when that's not happening, after a few small talk with this, this fucking Yuma bitch, <laughs> he takes, um, um, ISA, who's fading fast, to the bottom staircase, on the staircase, and starts running out of there. And basically, Kiba and Kuriko, they're able to hold off those guys there and have enough time for him to escape. So he escapes, and they get into the um, church area upstairs, and he realizes that her life is pretty much over. He couldn't do anything to save her, blah, blah, blah. The bitch Yuma shows up. I forgot. They call, he called her a different name, and she got really pissed off. I don't know what the name, I forgot the name, I'm sorry, that people, but I, we just forgot the name. But anyway, as it's being alluded to, she throws two those spears of light into his legs, and they're really burning. He takes them out, throws them, and his legs are just like, and he's able to stand up. And for some reason, he's getting really angry. He's, he's getting really angry, and all of a sudden, he has this thing of, of his right arm. Is it right arm? I'm trying to think now. I'm trying to remember. 
If I think it's his left arm. I'm not a hundred percent sure. Left or right. But anyway. <coughs> what happens is he gets this this thing called boost comes up and it's just this green circle on his hand and this red thing. This red like armor that shows up. And it starts transforming. It says boost, you know, booster and and it turns out to be this like claw that is like insane and you know she's running and she's like ah! she's like that stupid bitch she's so fucking stupid that girl at that fall angel you know and um and she's running away and he grabs her and pulls her in this guy she goes out the window when that happens and then we get um Kiba is back and he catches Issei, who's injured with the legs. And um, basically, uh, you know, R Rios is there. And she was basically explaining to him a few things about his power. And, you know, she was trying not to interfere in his fight, blah, 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 blah. And basically, they get, Kiriko comes back and she gets Yuma. I forgot her real name. But anyway, gets her there, and she just explains to her of, of, of Issei's power. Issei has the power to destroy a god. And I shit you not, that's exactly what his power is. Now, of, of course, she says it's not like, oh, it's unlimited. He gets this power limitedly, but it's a power he can use to kill a god, basically. It's crazy. It's called the Crimson Dragon. It's a, like it's like a claw. It's the hand claw of a Crimson Dragon. And she's like, she's totally shocked. She can't believe it. And and uh, basically, she pulls off one stunt, Yuma. She transforms what she looked like when she went on a day with Issei. And Kiba tries to stop him, stop from Issei going to her, and Raya stops them and says, wait. And, you know, and she's like, oh, we're, 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 we're on a date, you know, we just trying to do baby talk to him and stuff. And he's like, and he's like, how far will you go? Like, how far will you go to deceive me? And then she, he looks at Raya and says, Senpai, do it. And she kills him. Kills her. <laughs> it was like, oh my god. That was like sick. And then you get the two rings. And obviously, Ashia, she is dead. So, he's crying. He's upset, you know. And that's when Rios takes it upon herself to resurrect her as a slave. Now, she's her slave However, she resurrects her. Issei is the senpai of Aisha. Aisha. Yeah, Aisha. So, and that's how it comes to be. Later on, after the, the fight, and they go back to the, they go back home. To, you know, to the school and everything. Um, she, Ryos explains to Issei that she sacrificed eight pieces to resurrect him. And basically, you know, he has this great power now. And that was the whole point. He's a pawn. But it's a strong pawn. He's the, the ability to kill a, 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 a god. And she was like making a joke. You know, she's got red hair. And the power he has is of a crimson dragon. So it's like red and red. And she's like, you know, isn't that one? And she kissed him on the forehead. And this is like, she says, oh, this is the only kind, the level of, of, of affection I can give you. Otherwise, she'll, they'll become jealous. And he's like, what do you mean? And you look behind, you see uh, Ashia. And she's like, so a you know, what can you do? Yeah, whatever, blah, blah, blah. You know, so obviously you got this harem love triangle going on here. 
And they all meet up there and having a big party to celebrate that she's there. So, you know, and that's more or less how it ends. But in the end, we get, oh, we get this bird. There's this bird outside the window on a tree watching them. And you see this guy who's surrounded by these girls and he's laughing. So he's obviously the main villain in this show. So, good episode, kick ass. Love that claw. <laughs> Love that thing he had in his head. It was like, <sighs> get over here. <laughs> you know, he kicked her ass, that bitch. And you know what fucked up? She tried to fool him. She was trying to get him to agree to just, you know? And he didn't have it. And then Raisha kills her. Oh, that was great. That was a great rant. Great episode. Good. Big ups to Dark Fe uh What was your name? Dark Phoenix? Good ups, man. Good ups on that. But yeah, that's how it went down. Pretty good episode, I would have to say. Yeah. I'm, li I'm, I'm really liking High School DxD. It's... It just keeps getting better and better. Now, obviously, his powers are going to improve. Now, the next episode is kind of goofy, so we'll see. But, um, yeah, I like what I see. I like what I see. Oh, by the way, before I finish this video off, I'm going to mention one thing. I'm almost up to 200 subscribers. <laughs> I almost got 200 subscribers, just to let everybody know. But yeah, not so used to it. Good episode of High School DxD. I like where this is going. I really do. I really do. <coughs> Excuse me. So I think this is only going to be like 12 episodes, but I'm enjoying it, so big ups. Okay, so this has been Bonkai922. See you guys later, and the other reviews will come soon. Not tonight. Tomorrow, I will do The Mirror of Zero, Fairy Tale, sorry for the late review, by the way, Fairy Tale, and what else? Oh, yeah! Kenichi, chapter review. So, this has been Bonkai 22, High School DxD, killed my ex girlfriend. I can't really call her ex girlfriend, you know, stupid. Kill the bitch. <laughs> you know? Kill that bitch. Alright. See you guys later.